Hi everybody, I'm Matt and I'm here today to talk about water pollution and how our water becomes clean. That means we're going to be building our own mini water filtration system. Before we begin, just going to go over some background information regarding the water cycle. If we start at a body of water, like the, a lake or the ocean, the water evaporates from its surface and rises up into the sky. And then after that, it will eventually condensate where it becomes the clouds that we see. Those clouds will become too heavy and will precipitate back down towards the earth. Eventually, then it will fall back down to the earth and grab everything that it can, meaning pollutants and getting swept up in, into our sewers and storm drains. So what I have here is your stereotypical water grabbed fresh from the faucet, and we're gonna dirty it on up with some pollutants uh, with those many different types. So I have here glitter, mostly because it rhymes with litter. Second pollutant, it's vegetable oil. This represents oil, those drops that are accidentally left behind after you went to the gas station, or it could also be from those oil leaks. Our final water pollutant, it's gonna smell pretty, pretty good because it's Kool-Aid. Our Kool-Aid, it represents the chemicals that we cannot see with our naked eyes. So we're gonna mix that on up together and now we're gonna build our filter. So we'll set this off to the side for now. So first thing I have here is a two liter bottle. I cut the top off and then flipped it upside down to create our funnel. Next, I'm going to put a coffee filter on the inside of that. After that, we're going to represent the plants by putting these cotton swabs on the, on the inside. And finally, is sand like on the beaches uh, because actually water filtration is modeled after nature itself. And now that we've created our filter, uh, mine's going to look something like this since I picked the sand, uh, the cotton swabs, and the coffee filter itself. Now we're about to pour in our polluted water and we'll see how clean that water becomes. A couple things that I want you to keep in mind when you do this demonstration at home is if you're trying to build this water filtration system, experiment. See what objects work best. Now, as you saw, I picked a coffee filter, sand, and cotton swabs. Uh, there, you can try newspapers, uh, paper, or any different type of filtration system that you think. So as you can see, everybody, it is a lot easier to add to our environment like these pollutants than it is to subtract them from the environment itself. This water here is going to be needed to at least be filtered one to two more times to e even make it close to clean. Uh, but I want you to check out our website for instructions on how to do this. And I'd love to see how your experiments come out at home with your own water filtration systems.